Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah and my first free SVG of 2022. And no, it's not this turkey because if you've been following me for a while, you will have already seen this turkey which was released for Thanksgiving last year. But when I did release it, I had loads and loads of comments asking for a matching peacock version. So that is what we have done. Here is the lovely peacock. It has the same mandala style tail as the turkey, but it's in brighter colors. We've got a few extra layers in here. And then we've got the lovely peacock plume on top of the head. And then the body shape is a little different too. Now both of these SVGs are free to download from craftwithsarah.com or check the link in the description of the video to go straight to the page. Let's find out how to assemble this lovely little peacock. Here are all the layers of my peacock cut out and I've just led them one on top of the other to make sure I'm happy with all the colours before I go ahead and stick them together. For sticking, I'm using Kalal glue and I really like this because it doesn't bend or wrinkle the card like some other glues can do. I get this on Amazon in the UK, but other good glues that you can get are Barely Art Glue and Art Glitter Glue. And then I put the glue into these needle tip applicator bottles which have a really thin nozzle on them and that makes it really easy for me to get the glue into all the teeny tiny places, especially in the feathers of this peacock because it's quite narrow in a lot of spaces. For the 3D foam pads, I've got these little ones which should be about the right size for this project. But if yours are bigger, for example, if they look more like these ones, then you can just use a pair of scissors to trim them to make them smaller to fit. Okay, let's get started by moving some of these layers away from each other. And then we can start with the bottom and work our way upwards. So the bottom layers are these two green ones. You've got the big solid one and then the one with the little um, kind of edges to the mandala shape in there. And of course, we've got the little feet. So this is going to go over the top of the feet like this. So first we need to glue the feet on. And make sure you use glue for this, not foam, otherwise it won't um, level up properly once we stick the next bit of green on. Just a little bit of glue in there. And then put these feet on. So you can see where these needle tip bottles are good because it makes it so easy to get in these small little spaces. All right, next I'm going to glue on this piece. So turn it upside down. And if possible, you want to try and get the glue around these outside pieces. And that will stop it from sort of rising up from the base layer and it will also give it more stability and make it less likely to tear when you're doing the rest of the layers and when you're framing it. So I'm just getting my needle tip and squeezing a tiny bit of glue. We only need a little bit. And then for the main part, I'm just going to go around the edge and a bit in the middle as well. I want a nice good stick on this because these layers have to hold the weight of all of the other layers which are going to go on top. And then I can just line it up and stick it down. So this cardstock I've used with the um, kind of mottled pattern, hammered effect pattern, is um, from Sizzix and it's their uh, surfaces brand and I really like it because it cuts easily with the Cricut machine and the texture is just really beautiful it adds a whole nother dimension to the craft project. We've got the next two layers of the tail we have a solid yellow and then the one on top which is just going to show that little pop of yellow through. For the yellow layer this one's going to be done with foam so I've turned it upside down then I'll get my foam pads to stick on. When you're adding the foam, you want to add quite a few 
because we want this to make sure it's stuck well and that it can hold the weight of all of the layers that are going to go on top. And also by adding more foam pads, it gives it more stability across the whole of the shape. So you wouldn't want to leave it like this, just with the foam around the edge, because then your cardstock will sag in the middle under the weight of itself, and also under the weight of what we're going to stick on top. And if it sags in the middle, that means that it won't be flat anymore, so it's not going to look as 3D. So that's why I've put lots in the middle as well as around the edge. Now I can peel the tops off of these foam pads to release the stickiness underneath and bring that back in and then I'm going to line this up so I'm going to use the um, little prongs of the feathers and then to start with just gently letting it drop and that's so I can make sure I'm happy with the positioning and if I'm not, because I've only just gently let it go down, I can pick it up easily to move it around again without damaging anything. Next we've got this layer to show the yellow through and this is a glue layer. So, let's add my glue. I should have put the lid back on um, while I was doing the foam pads on the last one, but I forgot. <laughs> this glue does dry out quite quickly and when it starts drying out it can get stringy, a bit like a glue gun. Um, so remember to put the lid on, which I'm going to do now. <laughs> so I'm just going to go on top and it lines up perfectly with all of those feathers on the yellow. Next we're going to move on to the dark blue. And again, this is two sections. We've got our solid dark blue and the green to go on top. And we'll begin with the solid blue, which is another foam pad layer. Just like before, we're gonna make sure we've got foam in a lot of these sticky out bits. And be careful when you're doing it that the foam doesn't go over the edge of any of the blue. Otherwise, you'll be able to see it when you turn it over and we don't want to be able to see the foam. Once again, I'm making sure there are a good amount of pads in the middle for all that lovely stability. And then I can peel the tops off and pick it up, get the main peacock back in. And I'm gonna line this up using the bottom of the um, body as my main guide but I've also got these little pointy bits which will line up too. Next is this, which is just gonna show the eye of the feathers through. And I've turned it upside down and this is a glue layer. So I'm gonna go in all these spikes quickly and around the middle. Um, but it would be good to get the glue in these thin parts too. I know it is tricky as they are really tiny. <laughs> but by putting a little bit of glue in there, it's just gonna give it so much more um, stability and an overall better appearance because it'll be stuck firmer. Oh, put the lid on, almost forgot again. And I'll stick this directly on top of the blue. This is just showing that deep dark blue colour of the eye of the feathers coming through. Okay, we've still got a lot of feathers to go. This is going to be very layered. So if you wanted to, you, you could replace some of the foam layers with glue if you didn't want it to be quite as 3D. So we've still got quite a few left. And with that in mind, I think I might actually glue all of these ones so that they're um, so it's not going to get too thick otherwise I'm a bit worried it might not go in my shadow box so these ones it is up to you you could foam it or you can glue it I'm gonna glue it I don't remember if I turned that over yes I did <laughs> it's good to double check these things if you aren't sure 
If you look at the assembly guide PDF, which came in your download folder, you'll see that I did include that some of these layers are optional if you want to glue them or foam them. So you can make your choice based on what you think um, is best for your project. And the glue in this one, again, I'm going to try and get it in these tiny little mandala feathers. Very narrow. <laughs> and that loud noise was a motorbike. I'm actually moving offices soon, which I'm really excited about because at the moment we are by a very, very busy main road, which is really noisy and not ideal for videos, but our new place is in the middle of the countryside, so it should be a lot quieter and the view will be much better too. Okay, next one, we've got more blue. And I'll go back to foam this time. So there's my blue. Turn it over and add the foam pads. I think there are more layers on this one than the turkey because we were really trying to get that peacock feather pattern with all of the wonderful colours. And we thought more layers would be uh, the way to do that. It does come out really pretty in the end. So let's peel the tops off of these and then we'll stick it on. What I like about this design is that you've always got something to line it up against to make sure you're sticking it in the right place. And now we have the green going to sit on top and this one I will do glue for. I left the lid off again. <laughs> Okay, this one is thicker, so I can be a bit quicker. That wasn't meant to rhyme, but it did. <laughs> and then stick this one on there. All right, just two layers of the tail left. And this one, I'm going to glue again, because this is getting quite thick. So these two are glue, but again, it's up to you. You could foam pad the solid layer if you prefer. Here's my glue. Just go in here nice and quick. Stick him up. And then finally, the last tail layer is this one which are glue. And again, I'll try and get the glue in these little feathers. Actually, this one's not so bad. Okay. There, right, that is a lot of layers. Let's just turn it around a bit so you can see. It's quite thick, but for the rest of the peacock, I think I'm only gonna go one more layer up on it. And that will be with this solid body layer here, which I use foam for. Turned it upside down. There. And then the next layer is the detail on the peacock's body, which also makes his eyes. So when we did the um, turkey originally, here's my turkey, I did the eyes separate, so they had to be stuck on on top. And they were so small and fiddly, so I got rid of them for this one and just used a much dark colour on top with the eyes so that you can still see them without having to cut them and stick them really small. So my glue on here and in all these teeny tiny gaps around the edge and try and get them on those back of the eye parts as they are quite fragile and we don't want them to break off. He's very cute. All right, next I will do the beak and the, um, the wings and I'm just gonna glue them all on. But if you wanted to, definitely for the beak, you could foam it up instead and for the solid parts of the wings so these green bits again you could use foam 
but I'm conscious that this is getting quite tall. It's the little bits of detail which bring it to life, even though they are a little fiddly. That's one. I'm throwing it everywhere now. There's number two. And then finally, if I can ever pick it up, this little detail for the wing. I'll put the lid on my glue before I do anything else. And then here we go. This is our peacock design all finished and ready to go in the frame. If you're not sure how to frame your designs, check the link in the description of this video as I have a separate tutorial on how to do that. So here's the peacock and again, let's just bring in the turkeys so you can see them together. They make a lovely pair or of course you can do them individually and both designs are free to download from craftwithsarah.com. Thank you for watching, bye.